I tested illegal glitches in Sneaky Sasquatch with Cone Man. We're going to rob the port, enter areas you've never seen, try walking on water, and breaking into the prison. This is the first of the experiments. The first step to breaking in or out of any building is the dog. So I brought him in and did the handshake trick to try and get inside the jail cell. But I actually got stuck in between the bars. Luckily though, this wasn't a big problem, because I was able to reach the sewer hole. Tell me this doesn't look like we're actually going to commit a heist. While underground, I decided to take a photo, because I'm definitely not doing this glitch again. And if you decide to do this glitch for yourself, I highly recommend taking a photo, because it looks pretty cool in your photo album. Next up, we're going to be entering an area you've never seen before. Or maybe you have, because if you look at the pathway to your house from the road, it actually cuts off. And the way to do this glitch is pretty simple. Just push your car past the entrance and then get in. The main thing I wanted to test is if this pathway is accessible. While it turns out it's blocked, that's probably for the best. This isn't the only out of bounds area Cone Man is visiting in this video. If you've been to the subreddit for Sneaky Sasquatch, you've probably seen that a dog, as well as Sasquatch himself, can walk on water. So, does this extend to the Cone Man? The setup for this is by far the most simple. Bring Cone Man to the island and park a sports bike by the pond. Now for the moment of truth. When I get off, will Cone Man walk on water or will he sink? I genuinely didn't think that would happen. I actually tested it before with the supercar and he sank. So what does he look like when he eats food now? Honestly, making Coleman eat food while in a pond is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Now we're at the entrance to the Ski Mountain, and if you've seen my other video, you know if you go out of bounds here, you'll end up in an open field. But what I didn't try was going down. In this area, there are two cool things. One is more open green space, which allows you to do cool green screen edits like this. The other is that there's falling snow on the green fields, which are unique to this area. And I can edit it to look like there's a blizzard. Coman up! Finally, we have the one that you've been waiting for. I'm going to be robbing the port with Coman. First, I took too long to set up the security cameras. Then Coman got stuck inside the port. Eventually, we made it in, but now we had to do the hard part. Actually, robbing. I started by grabbing a forklift, and I encountered my first problem because I didn't want to leave Coman behind and waste time getting him. But I also couldn't let him ride the forklift. I grabbed two crates, one of beef jerky for me, and one of cones for Coman. Thankfully, Coman can't trigger poor alarms, so I was able to let him stay by my side most of the time. I flicked off the lights and opened the gate. Now all I had to do was make sure I pushed Coman out of the port so he'd follow me. This didn't go quite as planned though. Round 2. We got things going with a new strategy. Instead of pushing Coman, I would use the forklift to put a crate into one of the port trucks, and then Coman could ride with me. This means we're only getting beef jerky, but I figured we'd both be able to have some to celebrate. And this time, we were able to escape the port with our crates. We got a total of 20 beef jerky. Not bad. Subscribe if you enjoyed and click the video on screen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.